Hi. This screencast will show you how to send events to state machines on objects. In the triggers screencast, we set up a door to respond to trigger events to open and close. However, this is not very flexible. Let's say you want the door to open and close in a cutscene or on some other event on a timer or something. So let's take this door and adapt it a little bit. Let's use custom events instead. Let's add um, an open event, closed event. We replace these trigger events with open and close. Now we can test this by alt clicking on the states or events. Now let's set up a button that will send an event to this door to open and close. Let's use a cube for now. We'll add a state machine to this button. Normally it's in an idle state, waiting for some collision. We'll give it an active state. We'll make it a trigger, so we'll say from trigger enter, go to active. We'll set up its box collider to be a trigger. And make it a little bigger. Now let's test that so far. Walk onto the button, it becomes active. So in the active state, we'll use send event to FSM. Add that to the state. And we want to specify the door. So let's just drag the door as the target. Now we can set the FSM on the object, there's only one, and send an event to that FSM. So we'll send open. Now let's try that out. So the trigger becomes active and sends an event to the door to open. Now let's have it close the door after a delay. So to do that, send event to FSM. Send it to the door again. And we'll send the close event after three seconds. So the door opens. And three seconds later it closes because this button is sending the events to the door. Okay, to wrap up this screencast, we'll use broadcast event to open multiple doors at the same time. So, let's take this door, duplicate it, and change the button. Let's disable these two actions. use broadcast event instead. So here we can broadcast open. We could filter by game object and sending to children of a hierarchy, but for right now we'll just send it to everything. So let's test this. All the doors open up for the broadcast event. So it shows how to control state machines by sending events to them. Uh, you can do this from within Playmaker, or you can send events from your own scripts to Playmaker FSMs. And that about wraps it up for this one. Thanks.